As questions continue to loom over what the fall semester will look like, officials at the University of Kentucky are making one thing clear. They're capping tuition and mandatory fees for the fall 2020 semester in order to help ease anxiety and help families plan during this turbulent financial time. LEX 18's Claire Crouch has more in this edition of The Rebound Kentucky. For incoming UK senior Ola Onatieri, there are a lot of unknowns about the upcoming semester. Overall, just a uh, really nerve-wracking situation. He says from online learning to his fate as an international student, a lot hangs in the balance compared to his previous years at Kentucky. We've been getting a lot of emails, and I think that is helpful because, you know, they're trying to communicate as much as possible because... It's really confusing. The university says they're aware of that, so they've decided to offer up a little peace of mind by issuing a cap on tuition and mandatory fees for the fall semester. In a time where there's a lot of anxiety already, a lot of challenges, we wanted to be as clear as possible as we could be with students, families, and loved ones about how we charge uh, for tuition and mandatory fees. So what this means for the fall 2020 semester is for full time in state students, their tuition will be capped at six thousand two hundred forty two dollars and for out of state students, fifteen thousand six hundred forty seven dollars, no matter how many classes the students take or in what form, be it online or hybrid. And for many, the university estimates the savings will be significant. They say the average in-state student will be saving about $1,700. Ola says he and his family will save thousands and calls this a huge victory. Yeah, it's the only good news that I've gotten so far as an international because we don't get financial aid. So for them to cap the tuition and reduce it, it kind of helps because you know, all of us pay out of our pockets. The university also estimates this will result in about $5 million in lost revenue. But Jay Blanton says it's a hit they see as worth it and one they budgeted for. Money is tight right now. Money's tight for everybody, though. Money's tight for families. Certainly money's tight for businesses and money's tight for the institution. But at the end of the day, we've said one of our principles uh, driving everything that we do is how to ensure the safety, the health and the well-being of, of everybody that's a part of our community. And one of those aspects of well-being, I think, is is where we can, relieving anxiety, uh, answering questions around uncertainty, providing some clarity. Uh, so this for this fall semester, we, we believe that loss or this investment, however you want to look at it, uh, is an important thing to do uh, to provide that kind of level of of clarity and certainty for our, our students and families. There is still a lot that can change between now and the first day of classes on August 17th. Blanton says 500 people across the university are working each day to get things just right. But for Ola, he's happy to know this is one constant he can count on, and it's saving him and his family money and stress in a very uncertain time. This tuition cap is really a huge victory. Like, it might not seem like much, and I'm really happy that UK is taking a sacrifice just to, you know, help the students. In Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News.